See, Lois, now this is more like it. Now, what the hell? I want this button. It's the same size I always get. Maybe you put on a few pounds, sweetie. Lois, I weigh the same 293 pounds today that I weighed in grade school. Perhaps it's this lump on the side of your neck, sir. Oh, my God, Peter. How long have you had that thing? I... I don't know. We gotta go see Dr. Hartman right away. Oh, my God. What if it's something serious? It's all right. It's all right. We'll be in good hands with Dr. Hartman. He handled my reassignment surgery. I think emotionally, I've always been a lizard, you know? And now I feel comfortable, finally, in my leathery, scaly skin. Kids, if you need me, I'll be on the wall making rapid, darting glances. Is this just to get out of my parents' visit? No. Hello? Dr. Hartman, Peter has a huge lump growing on his neck. Mrs. Griffin, that's called a head. I've been fooled by that one before. Well, will you take a look at it? I think it might be a tumor. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, yes. It appears that there is a great rack, by the way. Thank you. Well, thank Grandma Griffin, really. It appears you have a subcutaneous vestigial twin growing on your neck. Well, what is that? Well, it's an incomplete twin that never developed into a fully formed person, but still exists as a growth feeding off your body. Now, hold still. I'm just going to give you a little topical anesthetic, and we'll have a closer look. Hi, everybody! Ah, what the hell is that? Oh, my God! It's a little me! Well, it looks as if he's more fully formed than we thought. Wow, your wife is gorgeous! Is that a foot? Almost! This is awesome! Finally, I'll have an interesting silhouette for the beginning of my spoken word jazz. I left my poem at home. Hey, Dad, how'd I go to the hospital? Kids, remember how when you were little, you always wanted a neck, Uncle? No. Well, now you got one! Ah! What is that doing? This is my vestigial twin. I named him Chip. You know, like Chip off the old neck. I like to poke him because it makes him happy, and I feel it a little bit in my nads. <laughs> well, keep that freakish thing under wraps. I don't want it cramping my style while I'm knacking on toddlers. See you around, bitch. You know, Lois, a lot of times you go into someone's house and it's just a house, but you can tell this is a home by all the love here. Aww. Peter, this seems unnatural and, quite frankly, dangerous. Hey, you must be the owner of that Prius outside. Thanks for saving the world. He gets it. He gets what we Prius owners are trying to do. Wow, the world is such a cool place. There's so much I want to do and see. Oh, he's such a great energy to have around. Ah, Chip, I am going to show you all kinds of cool stuff. My Hot Wheels, my lawn darts, even my new musket. Now, what the hell are you doing? Lois, I thought I heard a noise downstairs. Go stall him for 20 minutes and pray that it's not too damp in here. 